Hi there, Foxboro. My name is Ali Rodriguez, and I am the Director of Veteran Services. My name is Carrie McKenzie, and I'm the Administrative Assistant in Veteran Services. Today is November 11th, Veterans Day, a day where we thank living veterans for their services to our great country. There are heroes around us everywhere we look, and I had great fun trying to find them. Please enjoy this video. Hi, I'm Charlie Davies of the New England Revolution, and on this Veterans Day, I just wanted to take the time to sincerely thank all of the veterans who have served our country, and a special thanks to all the hometown veterans in Foxborough. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lance Del Priori. I'm the town engineer, and I work for the Department of Public Works in Foxborough. I served in the United States Air Force between 2004 and 2008. Happy Veterans Day, Foxborough. Good morning. Today used to be called Armistice Day, the day put aside to commemorate the war, war to end all wars, World War I. Uh, since then, the world has seen another huge conflict, World War II, uh, a lot of other conflicts, the Cold War, and, and now commemorates our veterans uh, of all conflicts, uh, right up, in it, up until today's modern conflicts. Um, I want to thank everybody uh, for their service, uh, for uh, sacrificing for their country, obviously some uh, the ultimate sacrifice. Um, we're thinking of you, uh, the town of Foxborough, uh, on this uh, uh, very important day. Have a very nice day. Lorraine Leitner, U.S. Army, 1951. I want to wish all the veterans a happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all the veterans in Foxborough. We appreciate your service and sacrifice. From all of us at Town Hall, happy, happy veterans, veterans Day. Hello, my name is Kathy Villagas. I'm a proud Air Force veteran, and I'd like to wish you all a happy Veterans Day. As we celebrate Veterans Day here in Foxborough in 2020, I want to say thank you to all the men and women of the service ranks who have served this country so well during the times that we need you the most. During this pandemic, it's been very difficult for all of us to get together in person, so I want to thank you from this perspective for all the things that you've done for this community and hope that you have a great day celebrating with your families and friends. Thank you. As I sit here today, several days before Veterans Day, awaiting the results of an uncertain election, I know that two things are for sure. One, that we will continue as a nation to have a peaceful transfer of power come January. Because we have a nation grounded in values that uphold democracy, and the best interests of our people. The second thing I know for sure is that as it is true throughout the history of this nation, people will step up, raise their right hand, commit themselves to serving and protecting this nation. It is through projection of power that we remain at peace. It is you who have served at the tip of the spear who have given up yourselves, who have served others, who make it that way. We are thankful on this Veterans Day that you have done so, that you have done so for the betterment of this nation and for others around you. So on this Veterans Day 2020, I, along with the grateful community and grateful nation, thank you for your service and commitment to serving others. Thank you. Hi, my name is uh, Mike Doolin. I'm a veteran. I was in the uh, U.S. Navy from 1978 to 1983, and I worked for the uh, Foxborough Water Department, and they have 15 years. Happy Veterans Day. Dick Putnam, Army. Don County Navy. Bob Murphy, Army. Paul Golden, Army, First Division. Happy Veterans Day. How you doing? I'm Mike Alberts. Served four years in the Coast Guard. Just wanted to wish everyone a happy Veterans Day. Adam Burns, Army, happy Veterans Day. Ryan McGrath, United States Air Force, happy Veterans Day. Chuck Gallagher, U.S. Marine Corps, 79 to 83 Infantry, happy Veterans Day. Kelly Colvin, United States Marine Corps, happy Veterans Day. Jim Para, Marine Corps, Force Recon, happy Veterans Day. Bolger, served in the U.S. Navy. Happy Veterans Day. Hey, this is Gunnar Sergeant Lewis. I'm Sergeant Lopez from Foxborough Marines. 
Semper Fi, and happy Veterans Day. My name is Rob Kellum. I was in the United States Marine Corps. I joined in 2011, and currently I work for the town of Foxborough. Happy Veterans Day. Hi, my name is Mike Davison. I'm a retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel from retired in 2008. I served in uh, the War on Terror Operation During Freedom, and I want to wish everyone a happy Veterans Day. Hi, my name is Tom Wren. I served in the Army from 79 to 81. I was in the Signal Corps. I was an 05 Bravo 1044, which is a radio operator with Morse code. Happy Veterans Day. From Foxborough Veterans Services, Happy Veterans Day. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the real reason you're all probably here, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you the 215th Army Band, led by Chief Warrant Officer 3, Stephen Martins. The 215th Army Band of the Massachusetts National Guard is the second oldest band in the United States Army and has been an international music ambassador for the Commonwealth on numerous occasions. In 1986, the band performed for President Reagan during the presidential summit with the Soviet Union in Iceland. In 1995, the band traveled to the Netherlands to help commemorate the 50th anniversary of the end of World War II. The band has also completed successful goodwill tours of the countries of Greece and Jamaica. The band has also performed successful active duty backfill missions in Heidelberg, Germany, Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, Fairbanks, Alaska, Fort Gordon, Georgia, and on three separate occasions at Fort Monroe, Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the 215th Army Band? Well, our first group is the Minuteman Brass Band under the direction of Sergeants First Class Brian Kinane and Michael Kokoska, and it was brought to life after the devastation caused by Hurricane Katrina. Some of the citizens of New Orleans were relocated to Massachusetts, and in an effort to make them feel at home, we put together a little New Orleans Brass Band. It's been the most sought out musical team in our inventory, and we hope you enjoy these sounds of Bourbon Street.
Spider-Man's out there today? Yeah. Let's see those hands. You guys ready for a great show? Yeah. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Yes, All right. All right. <laughs>
didn't know we could sing. <laughs> Neither did we. All right, we have one more for you. It's a classic. This time, you're going to sing with us. You guys ready? Yes. All right, here we go. One, two. One, two, three. <laughs> Chief Warrant Officer 3, Stephen Martins, began his career in 1987 with the 215th Army Band. In 1990, he transferred to the United States Navy, in which he served for nine years on active duty. During his naval career, he was stationed at Navy Band San Diego, the Atlantic Feet Band in Norfolk, Virginia, and Navy Band in New Orleans. Chief Martins returned to Massachusetts and served eight years on active duty in support of recruiting and operations before returning to the 215th Army Band. Please welcome from Somerset, Massachusetts, the commander of the 215th Army Band, Chief Warrant Officer 3, Stephen Martins. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Is this what you were uh, picturing when you came out to hear the army band today? No? A couple of marches, maybe we'd march around up here and stuff. No, we're not doing that. We are gonna get a little louder though, I can guarantee that in a second. I know that there's a lot of things uh, going on today, a lot of different events out in different towns, and for you to come and spend uh, a couple of hours with us here in Foxborough, we're, we're honored to be here. Uh, we're excited to be here. Uh, we appreciate the efforts of our, uh, of our VSO here and our great female veterans that you have. This year we're celebrating female veterans and if you know anything about these two, you know that not every GI is a, is a joke, right? <laughs> so when we were asked to uh, we go through all of our different lists and, and things the requests that we get for Veterans Day, we only have 40 soldiers, you're seeing about 15 here today. We have some over at the uh, March in a parade with a fife and drum group. We have another organization that's playing for the governor right now. And uh, the first sergeant and I decided to come here because it looked like it was going to be a little bit more fun. So hope you don't, hope you don't mind we decided to come here and, uh, and share the day with you. So we're ready for turning turn it up a little bit. Is that going to be okay? Yeah. All right, we're going to swing it on out. Hope you like it. Uh, 
about love and I like it, I like it, I like what love has been doing me. I hold you close in my arms and I like it, yes I like it. Oh what a wonderful future I see. It's a one time only. It's a lifetime deal. Somehow. It's real. I can tell by the way that I feel. Well, right now I'm living it up, and I like it. Yes, I like it. I said, Hey, you, give me a clue. What's the Specialist lady, specialist love it, ladies and gentlemen. You're hearing from the Brigade Big Band. And from the mid-1930s, the big bands were extraordinarily popular on recordings, radio, in the fashionable hotels, the great ballrooms, the big theaters, the posh nighteries, and in the movies. Our Brigade Big Band would like to continue playing some of that style for you right now.
Hi. Hi. How's it going? I would like to tell you a story about my good friend Harry Connick Jr. Maybe you've heard of him before. Still owes me five bucks though, so don't give him too much credit. That was a joke. Uh, we're gonna do a song by Harry Connick Jr. I'm pretty sure he wrote this about me, probably not, but he probably did. And it goes a little something like this. There's a few things I haven't told you Before you hear them from someone else To clear up misconceptions I'd rather tell you myself There was a time I rode a roller coaster from Coney Island to Key West. I held on with one finger so the other ten could rest. Maybe hard to believe, hard to comprehend. But baby, you didn't know me when I played third chair trombone. In and out of work, poker band. We looked for gigs on ships in countries that had no land. Maybe harder to me, we hit the top ten. But baby, you didn't know who we went. If you want a resume, I'll put it in writing. It's only good for one day, and the contents are frightening. I wrote long winded speeches. I was a head of state. I wrote an endless novel called CJ Love and Hate. Maybe hard to believe. I'm reticent. Baby, you didn't know who we went. Contents are frightening. I wrote long winded speeches. I was a head of state. I wrote an endless novel called CJ Love and Hate. It made me hard to believe that I'm reticent. But baby, baby, baby. And now, I'd like to do a little number for you. Maybe you've heard this one before. Feel free to sing along if you know the words. It'll help me remember them. My children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom, 
and they can't take that away. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. And I'll proudly stand up next to you and defend us till the day. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this day. God bless the USA. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston. New York to LA There's pride in every American heart And it's time we stand and say That I'm proud to be an American But at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I'll proudly stand up Next to you and defend us till the day Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA yeah. And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I'll proudly stand up Next to you, defend us now today there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. I want to take a second. There are a few people that um, we can't do as an organization up here what we do. Uh, we have 40 musicians in the 215th Army Band. We cover the entire Commonwealth. Uh, this past year, we did approximately 80 missions throughout the course of the year. That's a lot for a nat National Guard organization. Um, we have two full-timers that work on our behalf every day. Uh, we're just we're part-timers ourselves, but we have uh, two active duty folks that just take a barrage of phone calls, mainly from the first sergeant, but I call them once in a while too. Um, to take care of the logistics of everything and all the transportation and the food and all of that stuff. So uh, that's this gentleman right here, Staff Sergeant Nelson Cabral. And in the back, Sergeant First Class Mike Kokoska. We saw him before. I have the pleasure on a, on a daily basis, uh, during the week I work for the Department of Veteran Affairs. And I have the opportunity to see veterans of all ages, uh, genders, every background you can imagine. I have an opportunity to see their, see their backgrounds and what they've done and the awards and all of the amazing, amazing things that our veterans have, have done and, and, and do every day. And for me, Veterans Day isn't one day. It's, it's every day. And for those of us that work in the business every day supporting veterans, it's, it's every day. It's not just one day. Um, but today is the day that we put aside for you and for all the people that aren't quite as fortunate to work on your behalf every single day. So that's why we've turned this into a little bit of a party. Is that okay? That's all right? We're gonna do a couple more for you and then play some service songs and, uh, and get back to this being a ceremony and the party will be over at that point. But uh, I'd like to bring back to the stage, you've heard her a few times today, I can't say enough about uh, what this young woman does 
for us in the 215th Army Band and the Massachusetts National Guard. If you're at the Bruins game tomorrow night, you'll see her out there singing the national anthem. Hopefully they throw out a nice rug because I don't want any issues or casualties on the way out there. But that's uh, Specialist Blair Levitt. We're going to bring her back up here. for you. Bell 
that is ringing for me. To feel. Well, I could swear I was falling. Yes, I could swear I was falling. I could swear I was falling. Great job, Blair. Awesome. We'd like to uh, take a minute, and uh, I know that you were expecting marches, and I'm, I'm sorry if you were. We just, just decided to groove it out instead. Um, in Seekonk, though, I hear there's a good parade right today in Fall River. So, But anyway, we are going to take a minute to honor uh, all of you in the service uh, in which you served in. We, um, we say at... Uh, Actually, at funerals, we say some precious words to folks and their families, but you really have to hear uh, that truly on behalf of the, the president that you served under and everyone right up until today and the military service that you served, uh, your service is appreciated. It is certainly appreciated across the board equally. It doesn't matter what service. Uh, so thank you very, very much. So we're going to go through the Armed Forces songs, and, and if you recognize, and First Sergeant's going to come out and, let, and remind you in case uh, it's been a little while, but we're going to play the service songs for you. We'd love for you to stand up when, when you hear yours. It's just a great opportunity for all of us to say thank you. Um, so this is uh, Armed Forces on Parade. The senior branch of our armed forces is the United States Army, which was born in the fires of the revolution and established on June 14, 1775 as the Continental Army. The Army fought first for our independence, and Army soldiers have fought to protect it ever since. States Marine Corps was created in 1775 by the Continental Congress. America's soldiers of the sea have been serving with distinction for over 243 years and the Marine Corps Reserve since it was founded in 1943. From the halls of Montezuma to the sands of the Persian Gulf, Marines have fought to protect America's interests. The Marine Corps motto, Semper Fidelis, means always faithful, and Marines have served America faithfully for more than two centuries. United States Navy is the branch of our armed forces that preserves and protects our national interests at sea. United States Naval Forces operate around the world, sailing on every ocean, patrolling the skies above and the depths below. Since its creation in 1794, the Navy has forged a legacy of service to the nation, both in peacetime and in war. Our United States Air Force is the youngest of our armed forces and traces its roots to 1907 when the Army Signal Corps established an aeronautical division. The National Security Act of 1947 formally established an Air Force as a separate branch of the armed forces. From biplanes to sophisticated aircraft, the United States Air Force, Air Force Reserve, and Air National Guard are critical elements in defense of our nation.
The United States Coast Guard was founded in 1790 and is our oldest continuous seagoing force. In peacetime, the Coast Guard is part of the branch of the Department of Homeland Security and is responsible for protecting life and property at sea and for enforcing maritime laws. In time of war, the Coast Guard becomes part of the Navy and joins the other branches as the members of the United States Armed Forces. Throughout the course of this year, we uh, have been playing on our on our tour this summer, and uh, over our last uh, summer, con I'm sorry, our last concert for the year uh, coming up next month, we've been uh, taking a minute to just recognize one of our soldiers that is uh, retiring this year. He has spent 40 years, 40. I can barely get to 20. He did 40 years of military service, and uh, I'd like to just recognize him. He's a former Marine Corps, where he got his uh, beginning beginning years, and then uh, he came over to us and uh, Sergeant First Class Robert Bean in the back there. That is awesome. He hates recognition. That is great. I want to just do that again. So there's a guy, he's about to retire. And uh, the backbone of the Army is certainly the NCO Corps. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do what we do without our first sergeant, our highest enlisted that we have in our organization. He's been your MC today, and uh, that's First Sergeant Jeffrey Hyde. Thank you for everything you do. Top. I'm actually just burning time a little bit because this last song is really, really fast and I needed a quick break. So that's really all I'm doing. Does anybody have any jokes? Our last song, Every Little Beat. I'd like to just uh, quickly say out, I've been doing this, this last selection I did years ago back when I was with the Navy. And um, when I think of, of the song and I think about Every Little Beat, it's kind of like this, this thing every day. Uh, and you're going to hear in a second, it's a pretty fast song. And, and that's the way life comes at us every day. It, it just comes at us fast and furious. And sometimes the, the, the coffee is working in the morning and we're ready for it. And sometimes it takes until about 1130. And sometimes, well, we'll just catch up with last week at some point <laughs> next week, right? Um, and, I, and I always think of that when we play this song. Uh, but what I'll say to, to you veterans is as we go every, every day and every little day and every day and and, and there's a lot of resources out there for you, but don't let the everyday grind uh, get you in a bad place. We have a lot of resources. We have amazing people here in Foxborough that are, that are coming together to make sure that you have the support that you need. Uh, you can call myself, you can call the first sergeant, military one source, um, the, the, the VA. Uh, just, just pick up the phone if you ever need anything, okay? And uh, we'll be right there for you. You've got a great organization here leading the way for you. So happy Veterans Day. This is our last song. Thank you very much.
don't, guys. They think they like you. What do you think? <laughs> Father Cardoza, would you give the benediction, please? Would you remain standing? <clears throat> How does one give a benediction after that? <laughs> you were our benediction. Um, as was Kevin. So we give thanks, and I put away my solemnity to offer what a benediction should be, a time of giving thanks, a time of taking a word or a phrase that you heard spoken here today, perhaps from our keynote, perhaps from one of our songs, holding it in your heart, and going forth from this place. May we be blessed with eyesight that allows us to see the health and the wellness of our vets. May we be blessed with discerning ears in those situations where a vet may not be doing so well, that we might reach out, that they may not be alone, because as we look around this room, we know they are not alone. May every day be a day for celebration of service. And may we take of the groove of this day, the partying of this day, and bring it out into a world of disconnection, knowing that freedom and peace are ours, and they are a healing bomb for our community and our world. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. And now my thank yous. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for coming out and celebrating my first Veterans Day as director. I think I did okay. I am still so humbled and impressed by the patriotism of this town. And you guys make my job so easy, so thank you. And thank you to our elected officials and the administration team. Thank you to the school department for helping to distribute the flyers and opening up the school and special thanks to the custodians. I'd like to thank Chief Martins and the entire 215 Army Band for a spectacular show. And thanks also Chief for your friendship. I'd like to thank Master Sergeant Kevin Burrell who, by the way, when asked if he would be my guest speaker, responded with, do I have a choice? No, Kevin, you don't. I'd like to thank Foxborough Cable Access and Mike Weber, the Veterans, Advis the Veterans Services Advisory Committee, and thank you to my own family, um, especially my husband, Sergeant First Class Gus Rodriguez, who... <laughs> who gets woken up at 3 a.m. because I have a bright idea I wanna run by him, and who holds down the household while I'm running around attending events and functions and week-long conferences, and he does such a great job raising my children, I would be remiss if I didn't, if I didn't mention you. Thank you. <laughs> Lastly, thank you to my assistant, Lisa Plant, and with all that said, uh, if you are a veteran or a widow of a veteran and you would like a turkey this year for Thanksgiving, there are sign-up sheets in the cafeteria where there's also lots of food. So please join me after this and go eat your fill. And uh, lastly, God bless all of you. God bless Foxborough and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you.